And we're back, guys, the WTA Elite Trophy in China. We're going to take a look at seeds 9 through 12. Make sure you check out the previous first and second half of the draw. Those videos are out. And uh, make sure you like those videos, guys. Show some love to the channel. And we have Carolyn Garcia. Bonjour. Como vous? She is the ninth seed here. The reigning WTA champion of last year but not defending guys she's not <laughs> she's outside that race uh she's the current ranked 20th player on tour and uh a lot of people think and phil she's had a bad season i don't think she's had a bad season look 39 wins when's a 39 win season a bad season she won 47 matches last year and she would have definitely needed about that to make her way back to the wta championship to defend her trophy but she's made championship guys like listen she started things off at lyons france alicia parks took her out in the final there in her home country she made the final in monterey against donna vekic who took her out in the final in mexico she made the quarterfinals at stuttgart right she made the quarterfinals at berlin east Bern, third round at wimbledon quarterfinals in cleveland quarterfinals in san diego semifinals in guadalajara and the quarterfinals in Beijing. She's just missing probably one more title, probably a Masters that would have got her back to where she needs to be. But Carolyn Garcia looked the lead acer on tour. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. She had 11 championships on her career. She won four last year. She didn't win any this year, but by far she's the best server in this tournament here. Carolyn Garcia, she averages just about eight aces per match, right? Just under that, wins 80% of her service games, 23% of her return games, which is low. She's not a good returner, right? She's very aggressive on the return. She, she's she's like a Ostapenko on the return side. She's gonna go for the gusto, but she's not a long rally player. I don't think she's a great shot maker. I just think, again, like Ostapenko, she plays fast and a lot of opponents can't handle that. She gets 72% of her first serves in play. She does save 65% of her break points, and a lot of that's her serving ability to get her out of jam. She only converts 37% of her break points when she has opponents pressured. Can Carolyn win this tournament? She can definitely get out of this draw right here, without a doubt. I think of these players in the draw that could challenge her the most, probably Lin Zhu because he's a she's a better shot she's a shot maker she's gonna extend rallies where Garcia doesn't want to do that but Garcia is a threat to win this without a doubt Donna Vekic the number 10 seed guys glad to see Donna backballing right I'm, I'm excited to see Donna she's been through a lot in her career and she struggled but she's back to where she needs to be ranked 24 on the main tour and Donna Vekic has, I don't know, next to maybe Ostapenko, she's probably got the best backhand in this tournament, without a doubt. What do you guys think? Donna's 27 years old and 33 and 19 on the year after a 28 win season last year. And look, before that, 19 and 16, 8 and 11. 2019, where she made the uh, US Open semifinal, that was her coming out party where she just showed the tour she belongs on the big stage and i'm glad to see her back guys look two championships this year donna vekic came into this season ball and she made the quarterfinals at the australian open the quarterfinal at the upper lens monterey where she took out carolyn garcia in mexico she won that and we saw her make the berlin final kvitova took her out there uh she did well at the hopman cup right right she took out neef the young neef from switzerland who's balling but listen, guys, Donna Vekic, she's got what I want to say, maybe five or six titles on her main on her um, for her career. She's a household name. And the thing with Donna Vekic, she's got a fast serve. She puts a lot of pressure on her serve. Her serve is underrated. People don't give her credit for having such a powerful serve until they face her and they see, look, it's very tough to return it because once you do return it, she's coming back with that aggressive backhand to back you up and put you behind the rally. Donna Vekic, she averages uh, just under three aces per match, wins about 71% of her service games, gets 69% of her first serves in play. 
not a great returner, only winning about 34% of her return games, which is why a lot of her matches go over because she can hold, not necessarily going to break you. She does, she does save 58% of her break points, only converts about 45% of the opportunities she has against opponents. But again, Donna Vekic, she's going to put pressure on you with the first serve and follow it up with the backhand down the line. Very aggressive baseliner. She's been working with... Um, a lot of Hall of Famers to, to get her doubles game in gear. And she's going to be playing a lot more doubles, she said. She she feels at this point of her career, she needs to improve her net play, which I think it's correct. Um, I, I think after the injuries, I don't think she has the best movement. And that's that's evident if you watch her play. So focusing on her vertical game and her net play, I think it's great. If she can improve that, I, I, I've seen some improvements towards her net play and vertical game but i don't think it's of the elite players on tour and again that's why her bread and butter is her backhand if donna Vekic gets to her backhand she's going to beat anyone can she win this tournament uh, i don't know if she can um in fact i'm not sure if she even gets past this draw here uh, I think of the two players you want to look out for again, I did. I think they did a good job with this draw here because you have two defensive players, two good shot makers and Lynette and Lin Zhu that are contrasting styles to Donna Vekic and Carolyn Garcia. So stay tuned because I think this is the most intriguing draw of them all right here. Magda Lynette guys from Poland. Yes, yeah, she's having the best season of her career. First time making it to a yearly end championship. Congratulations, Lynette. And Lynette started things off red hot this year. The world's ranked 23rd player. She's actually the oldest player in this tournament. Lynette's 31 years old. We've seen her reach as high as 19 on the world tour after that impressive, amazing run. Uh, at the Australian Open, where she made the semifinal, she took out Mayor Sharif, Annette Kontaveit, Alex Androva, Carolyn Garcia, and Pliskova. Can she beat Garcia again? She's going to face her in this draw. She made the quarterfinal at Merida. Got a little bit... Uh, I, I don't want to say she you know, had a drought, but I, I guess technically she did because she didn't really do much until the tour hit China where she made the final in Guangzhou where she lost to Wong, but she did beat Putin Seva, Rebecca Masarova, Daria Seville, Jordi Burge, and she finds herself here after that impressive run at the Australian Open. But she's going to have to start next year off good or she's going to lose a lot of points and we could see her back, you know, struggling again to make these draws. Possibly... But probably not, because I think Magda Lynette, she used to be very aggressive. And I think she, you rarely see players adjust their game styles and go from aggressive to passive, defensive, and really make that work. I think Annette's showing a lot more of her uh, mental maturity, a lot more of her development as a player on tour. And I really root for her. Uh, Lynette's got a good backhand. Uh, she can play the lines with the forehand. Uh, she's got a, a lot of the Polish players, guys. They're they're doing this wide serve now. She's got good serve placement. Lynette averages two aces per match. She only wins 68% of her service games, so a lot of her matches go over. Only wins 32% of return games. She is breakable. She only wins about 63% of her first serves not great numbers right uh, she does save half of her break points and only converts about 42 percent of her own break points but again lynette if she's gonna have success in this tournament i think she's got to continue the wide serve get opponents out and then come down the line with the backhand lynn zoo is a wild card and we know how it works by now right when these tournaments are in the the home countries of the local favorites you're gonna see them in these draws now lynn zoo Dream come true, another player at the Australian Open came out of nowhere, upset a couple people, right? Now, Lin Zhu is, I wanna say she's, I think she's like 20, she's like 27 years old, something like that, 28. Um, no, she 20, she's got, she's near, she's almost 30, right? So we saw her at the Australian Open, she made the round of 16, right? She took out Rebecca Moreno in the first round, Jill Teichman in the second, Zachary in the third, as a Rinka, she won the first set and had a chance to win that match, but she choked. But again, picking up the most ranking points ever, we've seen her uh, get as get as get as high as the world's ranked 31st on tour, right? And then again, she went to uh, Wuhan and 
she won that. She beat Serenko. That was a great match there. And that was, I want to say that was Thailand, right? She made the semifinal in Monterey, the semifinal in Birmingham, and she made the semifinal in Cleveland. She made the final in Osaka where she lost to Kruger. She made the final at the Asian Games where she lost to Ken Wen Jong. I think she's got good form. Lin Zhu is a rally player. She's a good shot maker. She uses a lot of top spin. She's defensive, but she can step up when she needs to and hit the shots. I would like to see her work more on her serve placement. And at this stage of her career, is it possible? I do think so. She's not a huge acer. She averages just under two aces per match. But she's breakable. She only wins 64% of her service games. She only gets 60% of her first serves in play. Not the best returner at only 36%, but she does save her break points. Uh, she's the type of player where, look, she'll she'll go up 15 love, then find herself down 15 30. She'll go up 40 30, and then her opponent will force a deuce. Lin Zhu goes through a lot of deuces in her service games. She does convert break points at 50%. She's got a first uh, round matchup against Kuda Matova, who's going to be very athletically fast. She's going to play vertical. Lin Zhu really wants to stay on the baseline, much like a Dash Akina. She doesn't have the athletic ability of Dash Akina, but she wants to stay on the baseline and step up and find the right shots. I'm not a huge fan of defensive players on hard, but she's going to have the home count backing her. Can Lin Zhu go all the way? I don't think she can. But she's got to be happy. This is the biggest opportunity of her career. Tennis in a minute. Like the video, guys. Show some love. We'll be right back. <laughs> 